Hi, I am Hardik Nayak from Engineering Guru 2020 YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn Cambo file with flat face follower and having uniform motion that is constant velocity. This video will be very useful whenever you draw the cram profile. Let's take one example. A cam drive a flat reciprocating follower in the following manner. During the first 120 degree of cam rotation of the cam, the follower moves outward through a distance of 20 mm with uniform velocity. The follower dwells during next 30 degree of cam rotation. During next 120 degree of cam rotation, the follower moves inward with uniform velocity. The follower dwells for next 90 degree of cam rotation. The minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm draw the cam profile. Here cam lift S equal to 20 mm given. Second theta o means out stroke equal to 120 degree. Here uniform velocity for both out stroke and down stroke. Theta d means dwell 30 degree. Theta r means return stroke equal to 120 degree and final dwell equal to 90 degree. Here base circle radius equal to 25 mm. Let's start with displacement diagram. Here uniform motion is given for both out stroke and return stroke. Here I will share one easy technique for drawing displacement diagram for uniform motion. So first draw one rectangle from the given data. Lift of the follower on the y axis equal to 20 mm and on x axis angular displacement. Here theta o 120, theta d 30 degree, theta r 120 and final dwell theta d equal to 90 degree. So first draw our stroke it would be 120 mm, second dwell 30 mm, third return stroke 120 mm and final dwell equal to 90 mm is shown by a broken section line. Next I would be dividing this our stroke in 6 equal parts and draw projected vertical line through all points and then give a notation 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. After this there would be a dwell. The follower going to rest here I am taking as 30 degree. No need to divide because during the dwell follower neither move upward nor downward. After dwell there would be return stroke that is 120 degree. Again divide this return stroke into 6 equal part. Draw projected vertical line through all points. For the simplicity I will be keeping the same notation in reverse order 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 0. After return stroke their final stroke that is 12 it is 90 degree. Now we will draw uniform velocity diagram. So first in our stroke I will have joined this starting point and this end point with the help of dark line. In order to plot the points, the first division vertical line and this inclined line intersect here and this is point A. Same second division projected vertical line and this inclined line intersect here. This is point B. Their third division uh, vertical line and this inclined line intersect here. This is point C. A similar way find point D, E and F. This point show increasing order of follower when cam rotated. This is uniform motion for out stroke. During dwell, follower remain same height. So draw dark line. It indicates dwell. Then after return stroke, the follower moves its original position. In return stroke, I will have joined this 6.2 this 0 point with with the help of dark inclined line. 
in order to plot the point fifth division vertical line and this inclined line intersect here this is point h then fourth division vertical line and this inclined line intersect here this is point i so follow the same procedure and get remaining point that is point j k l and m so at the point g is at maximum position and at point m this is at minimum position this point show decreasing order of follower when cam rotated this is uniform motion for retail stroke then remaining 90 degree it is remain at bottom position so i would be draw dark line indicate dwell for the remaining cycle now we will draw cram profile so here you can see left of the follower s equal to 20 mm theta o 120 degree theta d 30 theta r 120 degree theta d 90 degree and base circle radius 25 mm uniform velocity for both out stroke and real stroke and follower passes through axis of the cam shaft so take one random point and here it is given the follower passes to the axis of the cam shaft so draw one vertical line passing through this point here cam radius is 20 mm so draw circle with radius 20 mm and draw flat face follower on this axis line now assuming the direction of cam rotation is clockwise direction because it is not given in problem so you can take this angle in anti clockwise direction from the reference line so first divide this out stroke at 120 degree means draw line at 120 degree from this line theta d equal to 30 degree means draw one another line for theta d equal to 30 degree then return stroke theta r equal to given 120 degree means from this line drawn line at 120 degree and final remain well equal to 90 degree now first divide this out stroke into six equal part with the help of protector taking each angle at 20 degree and give notation 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 as it is mentioned in displacement diagram similarly you can do for return stroke dividing six equal part taking each angle at 20 degree and give notation 6 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 same as displacement diagram now take a radius 1 to a from displacement diagram on this line 1 with the help of compass draw one arc and locate the point a now next 2 to b with the help of compass set the radius at 2 to b draw arc from this second division line and locate point b next take the radius from c to c and same this third division line with the help of compass and locate point c then 4 to d from this fourth division line locate point d then phi to e this fifth division locate point e then 6 to f with the help of compass do another arc on this sixth division line and locate point f this all point for out stroke now for return stroke point take again radius 6 to g with the help of compass locate point g on this sixth division line then phi to h from this fifth division line locate point h then similar way 
locate point I with the help of compass, then point J, then point K, then point L, and final point M. Here given flat face follower, so I have to draw normal line through these all points. Means draw perpendicular line through this blue line of out stroke and little stroke. So this yellow line perpendicular to the corresponding blue line. Means draw all normal line to this all point. Point B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and M. Now draw smooth curve passing through all yellow line must be tangent. Now draw smooth curve passing through all yellow line must be tangent. So draw this curve very carefully and it must be tangent to this yellow line. So uh, point A to F for out stroke F to G for dwell, G to M for return stroke and final remain M to O, this is dwell. So this is the required cam profile passing through all these points. At the end, if you find my video very helpful, you can like, comment, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.